Welcome. In front of me I have the Polaroid P4 music player and today I'll go over unboxing along the quick look and hopefully a sound test of this device. Now, um, right before that I actually did unbox the P3 which is a significantly smaller version of uh, this. Uh, now unfortunately I wasn't able to actually sound test that one uh, because it came completely discharged and it didn't want to let me play even though it was plugged in until it charges a bit. That's kind of an L right there but hopefully this one comes charged. So getting our way in there. Oh, I actually think I have pull tabs. Oh, yep, I do. So I didn't need to cut my way in. Although they're garbage. There we go. So, getting our way into the box. We have another poster, basically. Well, right at the front, just kind of showcasing this. I don't have enough space to actually show this off. Uh, so there is a poster and then on the other side we have an instruction. So, I'll go I'm going to set it to the side as I don't have enough space for all of those. And in here we have a charging cable. And now the charging cable is a Type-C to Type-C, so nothing special along with an instruction. So, yoink all that back in the box. Please have the charge. And you do! Fantastic. Okay, so this one is halfway charged as it should be, unlike the other one, which is completely dead. Now let's whip out my phone. Um, actually didn't get to... Look at the information. So this is a 60 watt uh, speaker. So... It has also up to 15 hours of continuous playback, though there's an asterisk, which... It doesn't really specify what the asterisk is right here, I think. Yeah, so I'm not sure where I'm supposed to look for it. Um, it has an FC. Uh, PD, uh, fast charging, so power delivery, fast charging. Uh, stereo pairing. And Bluetooth 5.0. Okay. So let's see what a 60 watt speaker delivers. Go into pairing mode, or... Oh, wait, what? Hello? Come on. Now, one thing that I want to actually point out before I do anything, there is this weird, like, white garbage on this. You can kind of see, for instance, right here where I scuffed up the phone. You can kind of wipe this off, as you can see. Now, on the camera, it's not as visible, but it's like white powder or dust. And uh, you can see it at certain angles. It just covers the entire thing. As a brand new device, this is rubber, so I, I guess it's maybe it's attracting dust or whatever. Uh, but yeah, as a new device, this is not the greatest unboxing, where the device looks like it's covered in dust and just kind of, you know, moving it or over it, you can see just kind of, like, what is this? Did no one at Polaroid use this or see this as a problem? So yeah, anyway, that sounds very thinny, okay. Um, now let's see if I can actually go into pairing mode. Apparently I can't do it uh, through NFC because NFC is fun. So there we go, Polaroid, pairing. So this is pairing basically, and you have a little sound tone to it. Okay, let's confirm pairing. And there we go, it's now paired. So, let's open up some music. Mm. Thinking what would be a good song to test this. You know what, I know what it's going to be. Um, come on, search. To make sure that it's not going to be blasting my ears off. Okay, uh, neatly. Um, when you're sliding the volume record, it does tell you a number here, though it does not control the volume on your phone. Anyway, let's play it. Oh, 
um, wow, for 60 watts? Mm, this does not sound too great. Um, okay, so um, just a quick little lesson. I didn't want to really spend too much time on it. Um, I'm not like an audiophile, uh, you know, nutcase or anything like that. Uh, so I'm not really going to go into, you know, the sound profiles and all, all that stuff. Uh, but as a casual just listener that uh, likes a little bit more oomph to my songs, uh, this just kind of sounds flat. And considering this is a 60 watt speaker, the only thing that it offers is the fact that it's actually wireless. Now, I myself did actually very recently picked up myself a Marshall, uh, Marshall Acton 3. And that has been blowing me away with the sound quality and also how much bass it delivers. And that is also a 60 watt speaker. So these two devices compared to each other, like this just sounds like a, like a, you know, cheap little radio compared to an actual, like very nice sounding speaker. Um, these two, my liking, it does produce a lot of bass. And it's also not very muddy. So yeah, now uh, this just sounds kind of, it's lacking a lot of sound, I would say. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's basically the the Polaroid speaker. Now, uh, one more thing that I'm gonna go over here, uh, the build quality. Why does it sound like it? Okay, so this is... <coughs> I feel like I'm hitting a cheap frying pan right here. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it is a metal build at the back. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a woofer back in the back, but it's basically taking the entirety right here. So it is pretty big, but it doesn't really sound too great. Uh, which I'm not sure if there's anything here in this case, as the mesh right here, that's a fabric as well. Um, but yeah, I can't really see too clearly through it. So yeah, um, so going uh, a little bit further in, we have plastic uh, white shell right here. Then we have some rubberized all around section and then metal back, which you can obviously hear and aluminum handle. Now, one thing, the handle does not, uh, you know, collapse. So it's always in this kind of state, you can push it down, which is kind of questionable. It would have been nice if it could just kind of collapse and be more even with the build itself. That would have been much nicer. When it comes down to the buttons right here, we have play, uh, skip back, skip forward. We have the volume rockers with a very tactile little wheel. The wheel itself is just kind of fully plastic, doesn't feel too high quality, but the actual like tactile feel of it when you're scrolling does feel nice. Uh, then we have the music button, uh, favorites, I assume, uh, Bluetooth pairing, and NFC along with a little loop. Uh, what are you supposed to hang this on your neck? Um, and then further down, we have a, come on, I can't open it up. Okay, I'm not gonna bother, but you can clearly see there's a microphone on here. And then um, a little bit lower, we have our charging port along with a uh, headphone jack. Or basically, I assume you can connect this to audio source and this will basically work like a speaker, uh, but without latency C because it's going to be on a wire. And uh, then we have a reset under that. At the bottom, we have a little circular feet right here. I'll take just a small portion of the base and that's about it. So there we go. Now, that being said, not very impressive device. There are much better speakers that you can pick up. Uh, this one, uh, it has a unique look to it, which if you're going, if you really like the look, that's fine. Uh, when it comes down to a speaker and the sound quality and all that stuff, it just feels kind of uh, cheapish all around. The, the plastic white finish just feels kind of, or looks just off to me. The rubber, uh, rubberized uh, kind of shell around and the rubber itself is just kind of having this white crap on it, like it's dusty or something. And obviously once the dust settles on it, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be also a little bit harder to clean because it's rubber. And then the back being metal, uh, it's prone to being dented, obviously, uh, the paint being scuffed. And uh, additionally, it just kind of sounds like a cheap frying pan when you hit it at the back uh, or, a, or a tambourine. Uh, so yeah, um, not very impressed to be honest with this, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.